Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and this is Lindy Stitches where I talk about the joys of needlework. I design cross stitch patterns that make people happy under the name Lindy Stitches and you can find my work at lindystitches.com. Today we are going old school, sit on the floor and make a floss tube video because my children are home from school for the summer. I might have already added a widget to my phone counting down to the next school year so that I can savor the summer days where everyone is home and mom gets to try to teach the joys of having a daily routine and the blessings of self-control. Send help. Summertime, sweet, sweet summertime. Today I have all sorts of stitchy goodness to share with you. I have my Stitch Sania report, including two new starts that I haven't shown you yet. I have new releases that I'm stupid excited about new products in my store I, you know the usual smorgasbord don't you hate the word smorgasbord that's just a very strange word moving on i can't wait to show you my new releases because i did a very special thing and design something with a friend and it turned out fantastic. I already recorded a video for this a couple weeks ago because I had to send the models away to my trunk show with StitchCon. So they are not currently with me. I will insert that video right here. I'm ready to share with you two new patterns for Lindy Stitches for the summertime and let's get started. The first is my second installment in the Happy Habitat series. That series started with Henrietta Hedgehog. Uh, this pattern is called Hedgehog House and she stitches up nicely to fit into a standard size tart pan. And all of the patterns in the series are exactly the same stitch count. And here is the happy habitat for summer. This pattern is called Eagle Manor and it features Eustace Eagle sitting next to his manor house. It has a little adorable eagle, baby eagle in the window. And I just love the little floral garland. I love this series because they can, they're can they super quick and adorable and easy to swap out. So if you didn't glue down, um, I obviously have to have all four models, but if you didn't glue down your tart, if you just kind of tacked it down with some sticky tack, you could use, you could reuse the same tart pan, just switch them out seasonally. I like to put a little bit of lace around the edge just for a little extra pop of color. So this is Lady Dot Creates Lace in Red Wagon and you literally just glue it around the edge. It's really easy, but that's Eagle Manor. It's just a $6 pattern and you know where to find it. My second release, I'm very, enthusiastic about because it is my first collaboration with another designer. Janine McGowan from The Blue Flower and I came up with a summer project I think that you're going to love. We did something together and launched out into the unknown and weren't sure how it was going to work out and I kind of think magic happened. So Janine is an excellent designer. I I have stitched. I'm I've stitched her patterns. I love them. I think she is so incredibly talented and I know a lot of you agree. And so I'm I'm so happy and humbled to have worked on a project with her. So without further ado, our 
collaborative project was called Saltwater Scrapbook. And it is a celebration of all things summer by the sea. And I will just blow your socks off by showing you first the full model. Here is Saltwater Scrapbook. So, um, yeah, this is Janine and I's baby. Uh, I designed five squares, she designed four. It would be really interesting to see if anyone could guess which four were her squares and which four were mine, because I think our styles are, they meld, obviously they meld really well together. Um, I'm just so proud of this piece. So <laughs> instead of just rambling and, you know, staring and gawking, uh, let's get on to the information. And so this is the full model. The pattern comes in two parts. Hers is part one, mine is part two. So you don't have to collect every individual square, like other, you know, square series that you might see through the cross stitch world. Uh, you just have to buy two two parts, Janine's with her squares, and uh, part two is mine with my squares. And so here you go. These are the squares that I did. <laughs> so it goes Steph, Janine, Janine, Steph, Janine, Steph, 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 Janine. Um, but I think each square is I think each square is is wonderful, and there's something um, something cute about e about each little scenario. So we have the squirrels buying ice cream. We have the octopus building a sandcastle. We have the hammerhead shark. Can we just appreciate that? Yes. Uh, I just love. I think this is one of my favorite squares of the girl and her dog jumping into the beach. I've done a lot of dock jumping in my life. Uh, what happens when you drop some food? When you're eating lunch? Sharing is caring. You have the parrot perching on the pirate's mustache. Uh, so this project is uh, super fun. Each square is 61 by 61 stitches, so not too hard to whip up. Um, so the full model was stitched on 32 count Blue Whisper Linen by Zweigart, and I have this in my store. It is like Vintage Country Mocha. Um, it's in their vintage line, so that just means it's lightly modeled and it's a light blue. It's a beautiful fabric to stitch on, very easy to see and work with, and perfect for a seaside pattern. But we also had a set of pillows stitched up and look at the size difference this, these are so adorable the individual models that you will see on the covers of our part one and part two are stitched on 40 count linen which is why they're so tiny and adorable um i just I just love them and I think they would look so cute in a little summer double, absolutely. So these were stitched on 40 count silver mist by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie and this is a lovely, lovely silver purple with some green modeling. And the modeling is not obnoxious but it's so, so fun. I. I love this fabric. It is, it's gorgeous. And I also have a selection of this fabric in my shop. Beautiful. So you'll have a hard decision to make <laughs> what color you'd like to stitch yours on. So like I said, the pattern comes in two parts. We decided to use six weeks dye works. And the good news is you will only need one skein of each color to complete the whole project from 32 to 40 count, one skein for each color will definitely 
uh, fit the bill. And so we coordinated that. Oh, this is one of my favorite greens from Weeks Dye Works. It's called Cadet. And Twilight and Red Rocks. Uh, just some beautiful summery colors. And then there's uh, a bunch of DMC, obviously, because... <laughs> We, uh, we used a lot of colors, but it's not an obnoxious amount of colors. I kept kind of cut, you know, trying to consolidate everything so that the supply list wasn't crazy and um, so that it'd be as easy as possible to do part one and part two together. So this is Saltwater Scrapbook. I am incredibly proud of this project and I just want to say thank you to Janine for... <laughs> For making this with me. It, it was a lot of fun. I I love Janine so more than anything I would thank you, thank her. I would thank her for her friendship most of all because she is a very supportive loving friend and she means a lot to me. So while I hope there will be more scrapbooks in the future I'm very proud of Saltwater Scrapbook, uh, but more proud to call Janine my personal friend. So, thanks for looking at our baby. <laughs> what did you think? I am a little miffed that I had to send that away because I want it on my wall this summer. But instead, it's going to StitchCon in Ohio without me. Boo-hoo. Tara the 805 Stitcher did stitch me a run of limited edition project bags for Saltwater Scrapbook, and they're adorable! <laughs> Here is what the fabric looks like. It is so cute. Look at that whale and the squid. <sighs> Adorable. And because I could not decide which lining I liked better, she did half and half for me. So half of them are this orange swirl. And the other half are green polka dot. And they all have an octopus zipper pull get out of town. So the project bags come with both parts of the pattern so you can make the entire project. The floss pack, candy, because candy makes the world a better place, and these adorable sticky tabs that are sea creatures. So I have a limited number of these bags. Uh, once they're gone, they're gone. And those are in my shop. I also found more adorable scissors. These are the mermaid tail scissors by Kelmscott Designs. Why cut floss with regular scissors when you can do it with a mermaid tail? Important questions to ask yourself. <laughs> They come in primitive black and this shiny silver. Last but not least, and this has nothing to do with sea creatures, but I found these tape measures and could not help myself, so now they are also in the shop. It is called the Honey Bunny Tape Measure. And for me, the more obnoxious a tape measure can be, the greater the chances of me actually being able to find it again. <laughs> so I love these and of course they're cute. We all need more cute. Shop advertisement is now over. Thank you for humoring me. I appreciate you. I don't like to feel like I am advertising, although I realize I am. Um, I, I make and collect awesome things. And you're my friend, so I show you the awesome things. And I suppose if you didn't want to see the awesome things, you wouldn't be here. So it's been 10 minutes, and I might need to call a friend to help me to get off the floor. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, 
So, the month of May is now over, and boy did it go by quickly. I did my good old plan of Stitch Sania, where I worked on a project during the week that I needed to see some progress on, and treated myself to a new start on the weekends. I already showed you my progress from week one, and I fully meant to make more videos during May, but I always forget like I continue every single year I forget what goes on during the year and I always forget that May is crazy finishing up school and it, it's I don't know it's it's just a kind of a crazy month and I continually forget that so May got away with me from me May ran away and I am going to share with you the goodies now so I have I just have more to show during this video. My project during the weeks was my kit from RTO called Red Troublemakers, and I can't wait to show you how much progress I made. I, every, I was doing a diagonal of 10 by 10 blocks every week, and because the diagonals were getting bigger, it became more and more stitches for me to do, but I managed to keep up. So here is where I managed to get. And this project is way bigger than it was when I first began. I am going to put the before and after as well as my progress shots over my face or wherever so that you can s appreciate <laughs> how much work was done. I did not actually count how many stitches I ended up making, but it was a lot. And I really enjoyed working on this. It was really satisfying to see the progress and uh, the picture grow. I started the cat that is sitting on top of the shelf. I am almost to the top corner up here. I think there might be, yeah, there's one more uh, square of 10 by 10 up here, and then this is the bottom of the project. In a couple more rows, I will actually be all the way through the bottom. Um, I'll hit the bottom corner on this side. So that's Red Troublemakers. It is amazing how much this looks like a watercolor painting when you stand back from it. Uh, like I said before, I saw a kind of close-up video of someone who had completed this pro project and it was on the wall and at first I could not tell that it was cross-stitch. I thought, I thought it was like the framed art print because I'm a doofus because obviously it was a video about cross-stitch but that's how amazing this turns out. It is really cool. So I am glad I stuck with this. I did treat myself to a total of three new starts. I could have had four, but I was all new started out. And I think the last weekend in May was just a stressful weekend for me. And so I just stitched on some other things that I had started and enjoyed some time on the porch and it was great. But let me show you the other two new starts. So last time I showed you I started Elizabeth Isles and I haven't made I haven't picked her up again, but I am I am glad I started this and I can't wait to make some more progress. So the other two things that I ended up starting um, first is from Heartstring Samplery. This is called Permit Me Not to Stray. And this and Elizabeth Isles were the two new starts I for sure knew I wanted to make. I did make a little planning video. Um, <laughs> other than these two, I, I changed my mind and did other things. But these two were the, the two I wanted to be sure I started. You can see this is a very imaginative and lovely Adam and Eve sampler. Um, 
it looks so good i started this on 32 count silver moon linen and it's by zweiger it's a beautiful beautiful light gray and i managed to complete the top border i am using all of the called for gentle arts flosses for this project and it looks amazing but so far i'm not sick of this border uh yeah, i love it so that's permit me not to stray looking forward to making some progress on that as well one of the things i like about uh doing stitch sania is that it is not overwhelming but also i find starting a new project a little bit stressful it is exciting i wouldn't say it's like my favorite part of doing a project and so it's what is fun about it is now i have three new projects that the stress of starting and making sure my colors and my fabric are what i want all that stress is over with and now i can just sit back and enjoy so the third thing i started in the month of may was i bought the pdf and just went for it i don't know where this came from uh, but this has been on my i'm highly interested in stitching this list it is cat in the moon by not forgotten farm <laughs> that is pretty much the bodily profile of my cat walter he is a chonkosaurus and i think this is really sweet and cute and i am interested in this bag finish i think i'm going to do something similar i am stitching this on some sort of picture this plus i don't know what but it is a 28 count which makes it ideal for porch stitching because it's so easy to see and i want it to be big and here is what i have so far the cat's uh pupils are not in yet <laughs> so he is gonna have a little more expression but look look at that i also didn't do his tail yet but this is gonna be the sweetest little stitch i am i'm very glad i started it i i like having a project that you can kind of just do the outline stitching and then when you want to just max and relax and not count things out, you can just fill it in. Really wonderful. I love Lori's patterns. I love her sense of humor and her artwork just makes me happy. So those are my new starts. I, I would say Stitch Sania was something that really ended up being a blessing to me i i had a just i had a good time kind of being forced to do something even though you know it's just for fun <sighs> i needed the mental break um i needed the cross stitch therapy so i was glad that i did it and and I, the, the end there's nothing else to say about that <laughs> Next up, I cannot wait to show you this because it looks stupid wonderful. It is my Long Dog Samplers finish called La Brie de No uh, from the Out of Print book. I finished this in 2019 and it has been hanging in my closet ever since. It is a strange size. It is bigger than you think it is and I have struggled to find a frame for it. Um, I knew I would eventually probably have to order a custom frame. I got it priced out a couple times and acted like I wasn't shocked and then just took it back home. <laughs> and truth be told, uh, the moldings that I had priced out at a couple different places, I wasn't totally in love with. 
However, it did narrow it down enough for me to know kind of what color I wanted and what look I was looking for. And I was on Etsy and Etsy has a lot of different custom framing options. And this frame was $56. So am I expecting it to last until I meet my maker? Probably not, but it might, you know, if it just hangs on the wall and no one messes with it, this might, you know, make it to the thrift store after I cross the rainbow bridge and my children are getting rid of all my hostage. What a morbid thought. <laughs> Here it is, and I cannot believe how good it looks. This is exactly how I wanted it to look. Except I need to relace it. I was a bit impatient, and it might have been the fourth thing I had laced in a matter of two days, so I was a little bit hasty. The lines are a little bit not straight. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, I need to relace it, but I love how it turned out. This is a frame by Rusty Roof on Etsy. I have ordered their frames before, and they are very simple wooden frames. They are very inexpensive wooden frames. I would not call them like heirloom quality, but will it hang on my wall? Yes. Does my piece look classic and amazing? Yes, it does. Uh, this is stitched on 32 count Abyss by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie in the color Acru by DMC. This pattern has been modified and re-released for not an arm and a leg by Julia Line on her website. Uh, it has a different title, which I can never remember. You can go and you can find it. But I love this. I, I just think this looks so classy. And the frame is a gold and the middle part is like an espresso brown, although it's reading black. Whatever. Look at it. Oh, yeah. The haul I have to share with you this time is a nice wad of Seraphim fabrics. I will go through them quickly in case you are looking for the perfect color of linen. Maybe I'm about to show it to you. You never know. These are all 32 count Belfast linen. And as you know, hand dyed fabrics will vary from fabric to fabric. But here we go. This one is called Finian. And it is a, it's like a dusty gray. This is use ear as in sheep. And I can't wait to stitch on this because it is really, really pretty. It's a grayish blue with like peach and pink. <sighs> I'm thinking like a monochromatic black on this. Oh yeah. This one is called Boston. And it's just a, a gray, a taupey kind of gray. Uh, but very nice neutral. This one is old stationery. I know a lot of people have shown this one because it is one of her better best-selling colors. It comes up toward the front when you sort it by best-selling. 
uh, and it's just a nice neutral. Um, I would call it a brown. And they are showing up nicely in the camera, so... Thanks, camera. This is Chai, and this one, you know, you're, sometimes you're surprised. This one surprised me. I wasn't expecting it to be a, a pink, but it is a pink. A brownie pink, but a pink nonetheless. It is pretty. And this one is for sure pink, and I knew it would be a pink. <laughs> this is Baby's Breath, and it's very light. Not an overwhelming pink. Beautiful. Um, I have now charted on three Seraphim fabric colors. Uh, starting in August, you are going to see... Yeah, I have two releases slated for this year, one release slated for next year already on Seraphim Fabrics, and she has been amazing to work with, and I really like how her fabrics feel. I'm not just making my model stitchers stitch on them. <laughs> I am currently stitching a model on a piece myself, and it's wonderful. So the giveaway for this video is going to be any pair of super cute scissors from my shop as well as any Lindy Stitches pattern of your choice. If you would like to be entered, um, the usual rules apply. All you have to do in your comment is tell me one thing that you would like to accomplish this summer. Any summer goals or aspirations, things that our top priority on your list. Uh, as I mentioned, my number one goal is to teach my children uh, the joys of self-control. That is all I had for you today. I hope that you enjoyed your time with me. Thank you for uh, sticking with it to this end of this video. I feel honored that you would even care that much. I hope you're having a fantastic beginning of your summer and I will see you next time. Don't forget, let me know what your summer goals are down below. I would love to read through them. Talk to you later, friends. Bye. Bum 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 bum